I am Victor Vargas. Welcome to this Daily Bark. And here we discuss ideas around composing art and life. And today I'm going to tell you a story about my son, Salomon, and hugging and editing and sketching. All of that in this one little video. My son, who happens to be the coolest little dude on the earth, sorry, but he, he has this need to hug everybody. In school, he's known as the hugger, and it's kind of, it's beautiful, you know, but he hugs everybody. Actually, uh, when he was in kindergarten, a teacher came to me, and I'm going to be very honest, she kind of pissed me off with this comment, but she said, you know, your, your son hugs everybody, and it kind of makes some of the kids feel uncomfortable. And I had to tell her, you know, I know he hugs everybody, and I'm not going to stop him from doing it. And I know we live in a world where it's like, oh, everybody has to be PC and you can't touch anybody or whatever. He's a kid. Okay, now if he was a grown man and he was walking around hugging everybody, well, then that might be a little bit, at least today in our culture. The principle is this. In the beginning, when you're sketching out something, it's actually not a bad idea to put more into it. Okay, now when you get to the final artwork, you want to edit things out. But when you're sketching, don't pull your pencil off the paper. Have all those lines. Now you may pull it off a little bit just so that the line is light when you move from one point to another. You don't want to make a mark, but you want to know the process. You want to see where it's come from. So later on, that if you need to put something in there, there's a little line that you can attach it to. And so as you're sketching and you're thinking through this process, and you're sketching and you're just moving your hand around, it's a great idea to keep more line. Uh, when Dega visited uh, with Aang and asked Aang for uh, some advice, Aang's advice was more lines. If you draw more lines, more lines, more lines, you might be good one day. <laughs> you know, so that's my paraphrase of the quote. But um, And so in my son, he hugs. And I want him to hug and hug and hug because... The motto I speak over my son is, we love, we lead. And so his hugging is his expression of love. And I'd rather have him overlove people than to retard his love, his ability to love, to, to restrain it. And so he grows up not really knowing how to love. So I'd rather him love more than needed so that as he matures, we can put a bridle on that on that wild stallion. We can put um, some guidance, some, uh, some, some different techniques on how he can continue to love, but maybe in different ways. But right now, it's about developing the passion to love. It's what I did with my daughter. Um, you know, when she was younger, I wanted to train her in composition, you know, raise her up to be daddy's little artist or whatever. But I realized she didn't want nothing to do with the intellectual side of composition with the psyche she was only chasing after the cupid the passion the joy the fun the love and i realized that that is so so important and so i've given her seven years just to love creativity love creating things now i've sat down with her now that she's eight and i said I'm not going to beat this into you, but understand that we are going to begin your training. And so at this point, I want to bring some more intentional training into her life, but at the same time, keep the majority of it as passion, as just a pure love and joy of it. And then as I bring the psyche into it, uh, the knowledge into it, she, she then can apply that. And it's the same thing with my son. I want him to love, love, love. But then over time, bring in some techniques, some ways that he can express that, but in a, in, a, in a more effective way with society and other people. When you're composing your work, put in the sketches. Don't be afraid. Just overdo it. Lines everywhere. Just scratch it out. You're not drawing a final piece of artwork. You're sketching. You're getting the ideas out. Just get it out, get it out. Just get it out onto the paper. Then 
you go through the composing process. Then you bring in the psyche and you begin to add the math, the geometry, the composition. You begin to manage these all this stuff. And in part of the management is actually the removal, the editing out of. Uh, and so you're going to slim it down to make it more elegant. But if you don't have enough information there and you go to edit something that's not even really fully blah there, then what are you what are you editing? You know, you're kind of like sewing with cobwebs, you know. It's like what? Yeah. Um so you want to have enough information there that then you can mold, you can shave away, you can edit, direct, squeeze together, and compose. Think about that when you're composing your work. Put more, put more into it. Put more line into it, more curve. Have fun with it. Get into the passion of it, the raw, just enjoyment of getting the idea on paper. And then take that hat off, whoop, and put your whoop, composition hat on and begin to focus on what is actually important and how you can remove things to make it extremely effective. And so with my son, the motto is we love and we lead. And right now, the focus is he needs to love because there are a lot of people who can lead, but they don't love the people. And so that leads them into a very bad place. So it's much more important that he loves, that he gets this out, so that when we teach him how to lead, he can lead, but it's always built on the foundation of love. And so as, a, as we compose, we want to pull a lot of that stuff out, but we need a solid idea, solid foundation, conceiving this idea, and that's what we do in the sketching stage. So that was a long one, but it was a great one. Have a great day. Ciao.